we're back in pretty much where we left off yesterday oh god I didn't think it was this messy when I left yesterday we have to make room we have to put some stock away and it's becoming a bit of a juggling act we definitely need some more storage space I don't know what I'm gonna do I think what I'm gonna have to do is relocate some certain things because I need to get some of these boxes of beer basically re rejigged and probably the best place for some of that is here so these are all pint glasses and could do a store in beer there to be honest during the winter time because they don't need to be in the cold rooms you've all seen the pint glasses haven't you I think they're fantastic available on the website don't be a sod and buy 24 cans of beer in a pint glass because they don't fit in a box buy 22 cans of beer in a pint glass anyway I think I'm going to relocate all of this tackle on here I could perhaps relocate that pallet there and drop that shelving down so we can fit beer on it and mind you I'll not be able to fit the can machine in there the can machine needs to come out as well realistically it all looks quite everything's crammed in isn't it I think we're going to have a big tidy up today so what I was going to do is pop the tops off all of these tanks give them all a quick rinse and then set them all to caustic one at a time of course and then once we've done that uh, while that's running should I say I can be getting on with moving stuff around set a timer for each one normally about 15 minutes caustic timers good enough per tank and actually seeing as I'm going to be doing all of them I might just do away with the drain hose and hook straight up to the uh, well, I was tempted to tip it all onto the floor but no I use the drain hose let's use what we've got properly I'm trying to think of ways to shortcut it already yeah a lot to do right I've just got to get my like, um, ducks in a row as they say so if we s set up the pump first set up the drainage hose second so we can drain all the yeast and crud out the bottom of these tanks down the drain then we can go around and we can rinse every single tank and then we can go back and caustic every single tank and then they're ready for a final rinse and then yeah happy to go for acid then when we refill them and then so the first 10 minutes well the first hour is probably going to be me rinsing every single one of these tanks before I can even start moving any of this gubbins around and then when I've got them rinsed I can hook them up to caustic and leave them each for 15 minutes which 8 tanks 15 minutes is going to give me approximately 2 hours to relocate boxes which we've been using for packaging so that's the pile of packaging that we've got I'll find somewhere nice and neat for that relocate the glasses to the top of the stairs all this up here is boxes for sending beers out yeah quite a lot and then we've got uh, the advent calendar boxes which didn't do extremely well this year but I don't think I pushed them as hard as we did last year certainly not on YouTube so we'll get all that stored and away and then I'll consider rejigging things there's a load of 500ml bottles up there look lads so boxes of are they boxes of 12? I think they're boxes of 12 and there are maybe 20 could even be 30 boxes if you want them come and pick them up they're free 500ml bottles never been used brand new I'll even dig out some free bottle caps for you if you want them for homebrew so uh yeah drop me a message come and pick some up you can have them right I'm not getting nothing done talking to the camera 
We've had a five minute intro of waffle, so let's get stuck in. I'm going to set this pump up, I'm going to connect it to this tank here, and I'm going to start pumping the slurry out of the bottom. So we've got two rinsed. Oh, lovely tidy deck by the way, what do you think to that? Everything's tucked away. Just a little bit of stock up here. Oh, look at that, it's gorgeous, isn't it? What a tidy area. Anyway, two tanks emptied. Third tank has displayed, um, well, yeah, some lower large colon problems by the looks of things. And if we just shoot up the steps, these two tanks, they've just had a rinse. That's all about. Oh. They look lovely, don't they? Lovely and clean. Lovely and clean. This one. Listen. It's got the spray ball going around inside. In a minute I'm going to take the lid off. I'm going to scrape the Krausen ring out and replace the spray ball into this tank and we'll repeat the process all the way down down this beautiful row of tanks. So let me just uh, change, the, change the fittings over and we'll have a look at the Krausen ring after a little rinse. Oh, I don't know if you can see that but that is there's the Krausen ring and it's not it's not terrible I've got to try and not to not to drop the uh, I might zoom back out again it's not going to work there we are a little bit of Krausen but as I said scrapes off really quite easily and then we've just got to go the other direction and then for the bit that I can't reach well we just have to put that there because I'm doing this one hand I'd normally rinse that to have the hose at the same time there we are 90% gone this smells nice. I can really smell the hot. And then we will focus down there on that outlet. You can't see it, but that's full of yeast as well. And then by rinsing it out like that, that means we can disconnect all the pipe work on the outside, give it a clean, then connect it back up for a caustic without getting any splurges on us. Oh, and there we go. We caught a little bit of the waterfall. What was in that one? I can't remember. Quite vacant. That's a lot of trouble for a vacant. It does smell like a bacon. Anyway, off it goes. There she goes, look. Down to the sewer with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay. Right, clean up in progress. Clean up our one, June. Well, we're, we're holes down. And it's... 10, 2, 7, so I'm going home. All the tanks, all the lovely tanks are laid off and cleaned. And uh, unfortunately, we found a few with damaged seals, uh, which I'm really pissed off about actually, because this neoprene seal I thought was gonna be the solution we could rely on for sealing these tanks, but it looks like no, and one or two of them were about to double up the neoprene as they've kind of just let go and started to bubble up in between and 
yeah it's just not gonna work is it so I'm thinking about getting plumbers mate silicon which is what this like amber colored sealant is I use it on the boil kettle it's extremely chemical resistant and look you can see there it's blown so I'm thinking about just making a tool and benching up a plumber's mate all around the edge and uh, doing it that way and then if we need to scrape it back out again we can just cut out reapply jobs are good and but yeah that disappointed me slightly today to discover I'm gonna have to attack them again because it took me quite a while to figure out a solution to make these air, uh, tanks airtight and well we got six months out of it so back to the drawing board anyway let's uh, let's call it a day today and Shazam go home yo so I bet a lot of you out there wouldn't believe me if I told you this but it's true so I've come home Gemma's gone to the gym so Gemma and I are gonna have a nice sirloin steak each yes I've opened a couple of cans of Secret City and I'm feeding the kids Tom will know if he's watching from the pub we have some sirloin steaks left over which I ain't gonna keep until we reopen so there's one that's for Abigail she likes hers well done she's a young lady it's her decision there's her chips and this is what Dominic's having for tea bless him now how many dads will do that for a lad eh look at that he's a lucky fella isn't he and then when I do mine for me and Jam, we're having mushrooms and tomatoes as well let's not be daft but I thought I'd leave you on a high note just showing you how lucky you would be to live with me hello sailor unless you're a vegetarian of course then um, I apologise big time